Deva Yaga, the bony witch. A couple had an only daughter. When the man's wife died, he married again. But the wicked stepmother did not like the girl. She always thought of ways to get rid of her. One day, the wicked stepmother said to the girl, Go to my sister, your aunt, and ask her for a needle and thread to stitch a dress for you. Now, the wicked stepmother's sister was none other than Baba Yaga, the bony witch. Now, the little girl was very intelligent. Instead of going to Baba Yaga, she first went to her own aunt. She asked, Mother has sent me to her sister for a needle and thread to stitch a dress for me. What should I do? The aunt told her what to do. Listen, my dear, she said. At Baba Yaga's home, you will find a birch tree that will lash your face. Tie it with a ribbon. There will be gates that will creak and bang. Don't forget to pour oil on the hinges. The maid boils water. The girl's aunt continued. There will be dogs that will try to rip you apart. Throw them fresh rolls. There will be a cat that will try to scratch your eyes out. Give her some ham. The little girl left and went to the witch's abode. Baba Yaga sat inside a hut. She was spinning. Good day, auntie, said the little girl. Good day, dear, the witch replied. Mother has sent me to borrow a needle and a thread to stitch a dress for me, said the girl. Fine, Baba Yaga said. Sit down and start weaving. The little girl sat and started weaving. Then Baba Yaga went out and told her, Serving me, go and boil the water and give my niece a good bath. I want to eat her for breakfast. The maid did as instructed. The little girl sat there in terror. The cat helps the little girl. The little girl begged the maid, Oh, please, don't bump the wood. Pour water on instead. Then carry the weave in a sieve and she gave the maid a kerchief. In the meantime, Baba Yaga was waiting for her. She went to the window and asked, Are you weaving, dear niece? I am weaving, the girl replied. When Baba Yaga went away from the window, the little girl gave some ham to the cat. She then asked the cat for a way to escape. The cat gave her a comb and a towel Take them and run away. When Baba Yaga chases you, listen to the sound of her coming and throw down the tal. A wide river will appear. If she crosses the river and starts following you again, when you hear her coming close, throw down your comb. A dense forest will appear. She won't be able to cross the forest. The little girl took the tal and comb and ran. Baba Yaga scolds everybody. While she was running, the dogs tried to attack her, but she threw the fresh rolls and they let her go. The gates tried to shut down, but she poured some oil on the hinges and they let her pass. The birch tree tried to lash her face, but she tied it with a ribbon. Meanwhile, the cat sat down at the loom. After every few minutes, Baba Yaga would call, Are you weaving, dear niece? And the cat would answer in a low voice, I am weaving, auntie. The witch felt something suspicious. She rushed into the hut and saw that the girl had ran away. The witch started thrashing the cat and scolded her for not scratching out the girl's eyes. Baba Yaga then thrashed and scolded all the dogs, the gates, the birch tree and the serving maid. Everyone said to her, We have served you for years, still you never gave us anything. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.